Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Time Has Been A Window. As most of you guys know, I have been trying to stream Quake Champions for you guys, but I have had, like, constant crashes and such, and really haven't been able to get this thing up and running. Well, that is until tonight. After going through countless forums and not really coming up with much, I found a nice YouTube video, which I'll also link down in the description, which also explains how to do this, but I'm going to be reiterating it. And this is how I fixed my crashing issues and how I was able to play myself. Now I know this is a pretty weird fix, but it really did work for me and hopefully it'll work for you. So basically the first thing I want to talk about though is the launcher. Some people are having problems just launching the launcher. And all you got to do is run this in compatibility mode for Visa Service Pack 2. Also it's best to run this program as administrator, so please check that. Okay, so that should make it so you can launch the launcher, but now you're going to want to delete Quake Champions because we need to have a fresh install of it so you can install the desktop shortcut too. It needs to be the one that you install via this and not just one that you go and click on it and right click and say add to desktop. I don't know why. After that, you're going to want to install Quake Champions with the desktop icon. Here you can click it and done. All right, it's going to take me a couple minutes to download this, so I'm going to fast forward a little bit. But once it's done, you're going to want to restart your computer. Now, when you get back into Windows, you're going to want to open up the launcher. Now, once the launcher is up, you're going to want to actually click the desktop icon for Quake Champions to launch the game. Now, here's where it gets a little bit tricky. Now, when you launch it, you're going to see it's going to go into a small black screen before going into a large black screen. As soon as it goes into a large black screen, you're going to want to control out delete and close the launcher, but not Quake Champions. It seems if you do it too soon, the game won't launch, but if you do it too late, the game will crash like usual on the loading in screen. And that's really all there is to it. So hopefully this helps you guys out and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys are still experiencing issues even after trying this, let me know that too. And I will try to forward that onto the forums and see if there's another fix we can find. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys all have a great day. Precise. You win.